Warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches, so your discretion is advised. We kill shit here. kill broke that dam right there a few days ago it's built back up I'm hoping I can get this low enough where I can start getting some critters to come along I put a few caster mount sets at sets in but and I got something the trap was there the critters there I got that set and then I got another one down this way so I'm gonna get suited up put on the waders we'll see what we got stay tuned all right guys I found that <coughs> chewing we got a hunt my GoPro just went dead so I gotta do it this way I'm gonna put two cast amount sets here I got chewings I got a dam there most of the trees are dead they're still cutting them down Hopefully they'll come back to this one. I don't think it's near as dead as it looks, but it's it's dying for sure. So I'm just gonna make a. I know they're already going to it, but I'm gonna make it look like something else has gone to it. And these are gonna be smart beavers because everybody traps them. Looking it up. Make it look like you're sliding in there. Oh, I'm gonna set my trap a hair deeper than I normally would because I just broke that dam too. They're gonna come out, investigate that. Probably see this caster now, but they didn't make very good. I'm gonna have to add to it. Bridger number five. And he's been waxed. Probably gonna bite me. Everybody's like awesome. It's gonna bite him. Right in the mud. Alright. That'll work. Now we'll cruise on to the next one and we'll be done for the day. You have a good check tomorrow, I hope. Stay tuned. Well. The next spot. Already got a little bit of action to it, looks like. It's like an old, when the water was super hot. It was everywhere, even where my truck is, everything was all underwater here. So it's had some action. It wouldn't be nothing for another beaver to come through and check it out. So flick it all up. Push mud up, <coughs> and they put some of their 
check their glands. They use their glands and put scent on it. I'm saying stay the hell out of my spot. But sometimes they gotta get up there and get a good visual to smell it. Cause I'm not putting nothing on it. It's just all just about looks here. Make it so they can see it. Anything can see that really. A bit of blocking, not too much. I don't want to just want them to come right here. Too much trap. Trap's gonna be right here. It's pretty subtle. Got my nephew Tyler behind the camera. GoPro just went dead. He's just following me along, kind of trying to learn. And he enjoys this. So. It's always nice to have someone out here with me. All right, we'll see what we get. Beavers will be cruising around tonight. They're gonna be trying to see what's going on. Why the water is dropping. we got shall we when I put this set in I seen the chewing on the tree here I'm gonna put my drowner and it looks like we got a coon that should not have came along a very unlucky coon has come along here we will take it at least it looks like a coon. It is a coon. I'd much rather have gotten the beaver. <clears throat> nice coon though. You catch a lot of different critters than what you're targeting. It's all right during trapping season, but once you start doing nuisance, then you kind of want to try to avoid it. But do you see where I'm at? I mean, there really isn't any coon trails here. Like, I don't know what the coon, you know, he must have been just out looking for food. It's not really heavy coon population right here. Okay guys, I wanna give a shout out to Reaper Militia Outdoors. I went and uh, on Instagram I seen he was wearing my merch. He went over to Teespring, his daughter did actually. She went to Teespring and got a hoodie for him. And I like to see that. I like to, it's pretty cool when I see people rocking my merch. I wanna give a shout out to the Reaper and I got some other shout outs in mind just give me time I don't want to just make a big old video of shout outs so I gotta walk down here and check this but make sure you check out Reaper and I went and got a PO box today guys for those of you in the live stream that was asking for it the link I'll put the link the uh, Address in the description. I 
I got something here. Also, possibly another coon, looks like it. There's like no trails here for coon. So I don't know, well, maybe they just passed through. It's nice out. That is another coon. Well, we'll take it. Same setup here. That is actually a pretty big gun. Same setup at a caster mount set right here. There's my caster mount. Trap was just on the ledge right here. Came through last night. Cause uh, me and Flair checked these yesterday. There was nothing here. That's a big coon. If anybody has sweet corn, they're pretty destructive to your sweet corn patch. Somehow they always know exactly when it's ripe. It's right under the water there. I'll let them sit there for a second. It's nice coons though. Big coons, big old boar coons. Real nice skin. Here's the feed bed here I found. Oh, and look what we got. It was the uh, only place I could find. I don't want to lose my stick. And my nephew, Tyler, guys, you guys have seen him in my live stream? He's gonna like to see this. He's not here today. Another nice big beaver right there, guys. Right here in this ditch. It was all flooded. Cast, and then there's their feed bed right there. I come in here with my waders on and make sure you're careful when you're around a beaver hut. It could be really deep. But found the only little path that was going through there and set it and here we are <clears throat> that's a pretty nice beaver right there farmer this is where i usually trap to get beaver out he he's had me come here the last few years this is a 330 trap get this trigger out of my way here just manhandle it yes I got setters they're in the truck I got pretty pretty dang strong hands right now I get older I'll be regretting getting old but there we go That's a pretty good little stretch right there. We'll take it. I know you guys are probably getting tired of seeing the coyotes, right? I don't know. Yesterday was a good day. Flare came. I was worried that I wouldn't have anything. You know, that's usually how it goes.
Okay, locate your run. I kind of learned this set from, I used to do it like the hard way. And I watched 330 Maniac quite a bit. If anybody knows him, surely you guys do. If you don't, go check him out. Push your stick down. Make sure your safeties are off. And drop your 330 straight down here. Some shit will be in the way. Try to pull it out. You'll just drop your 330 all the way down. I'm gonna push on the springs here. Get it down. On the bottom. Find your trap. He does it so much easier than I do, guys. So much easier than I do. I'm through the through the jaws just a little bit. Set your trap. I'll wrap this around here. It ain't going nowhere. All right, we'll see what else we can get here. Hopefully I can get you guys enough footage. Hell yeah. All right, I'll get these guys out of here and we'll go on to the next sets. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, I'm putting in another step. I want the step to be big as possible. Just actually, scratch that. You want the trap to be just as big as your trap. Your trap bed to be just as big as your trap. That way, it doesn't, they step straight on it. You want it right in the middle of the trail. <clears throat> A lot of people asking about my, my hammer. I made this. And I got it to where I just use hollow pipe. I can clean it out. It's in there. Get to your spot. You need this anyways. But when you use this and dig with it, it'll plug up a lot of times. You can just shove it and push it through. I'm gonna use one of the Duke 550s. There it is. Fluff this up and it'll keep them going right on that trail. We should, if they come through here tonight, we should have something right here tomorrow, guys. You can see Coon Scat there. Trail's going right across here. Lucky, lucky, guys. Got him in a bridger. Pretty decent catch on that bridger. He's taking a dump. You definitely want to pick that up. Anyways, on a trail right here. You guys, I made a set in the summer. I set the trap right here. I made a mock set. You can go back. I, I don't know if I can, uh, <laughs> I think it was blind sets. Got him. Nice one. Looks like it's going to be a Tom. And I'm just, uh, doing the after work check like I usually do. I was hoping to have a bobcat yesterday when Flair was on the line with me, but this is how it works out. All right, man, I'll get them taken care of. 
and I'll show you them up close, guys. I'm just, I'm just filming with my phone. And I got three more sets here to check, and I got a whole nother farm I got to check still, so maybe we'll have something else. I just want you guys to hear the noises they make. It's awesome. All right, guys. Stay tuned. Hey guys, here he is. Look at that belly on that thing. It's too bad, you guys, I can't ever catch a bobcat in the daylight. Always when I'm night checking. It's a pretty good sized cat. I'll release the smaller ones, but this one's here is plenty big enough to, plenty big enough. I wish you guys could see how big he actually is. Good, weighs pretty good. I'll get down out of the woods here, and I gotta go check the other ones. So stay tuned. Sorry about the night checking, guys. This is how it is. Till I can full time trap. You guys are gonna have to see videos like this. I'll leave him here and get him on my way back out of here. Stay tuned, guys.